Welcome back to Boss Man Sports Cards. We are still on vacation out on location. Yes, we are in Vancouver still. And uh, it's a Walmart Wednesday. Canadian style. Sure, why not? So, Walmart up here in Canada, we were able to find 2022 opening day and some football Panini contender cards. Okay, not bad. So we went through and uh, eleven forty eight for the football cards, thirty four ninety two for opening day blaster. Now remember that's Canadian, uh, so the conversion rate is like 0 0.8, 0 0.75 depending on the day. Um, so not so bad, not so bad. I did check out another Walmart and. Oh my goodness, their prices were ridiculous, uh, even with the conversion rate. So I'm hoping to go back and take a look at those prices and show you what I was talking about. I mean, they had uh, um, mega boxes for like 85 to 90 Canadian dollars. Uh, that's fine, but that conversion rate's not that great. And it was packed. I wonder why. Nobody wants to pay those prices. So... Walmart Wednesday from Canada. We're going to have some fun. 154 cards in opening day. Okay. And what do the contenders have? They have 22 cards per value pack. And like I said, that was only, a, a, what, 1148 per pack. So not so bad. Let's see. Retail exclusive Emerald uh, Parallels. Let's find Emerald Parallels. Nice. Okay. So if you've seen it before, or if you haven't seen it before, contenders, they usually look like a ticket. Um, kind of a cool concept, I think. Drew Locke, he's now with Seattle. Russell Wilson, now with uh, Denver, traded for each other. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, Kyler Murray. So section is their jersey number. Row is their height. Uh, so apparently Kenny Galladay is six foot four. And section is their weight. Kind of a cool concept of how they do that. You get the 2020 season stats and their career stats. Nice little wrap up of the athlete. There you go. Is it a different picture? Same picture. Okay, same picture is on the front, is on the back. Miles Sanders. Alexander, Godwin, Keenan Allen. Yes, uh, great receiver. I've always liked him. Nick Bosa. Who was the other niner we got? Oh, George Kittle. There you go. Bosa, Tariq Hill, Hurst. Now, what are the inserts that we got? Round number two. So, draft, draft round numbers. MVP, Derrick Henry, contender. I mean, they got to run off of the contender's name, so they're a contender for the MVP. Uh, power players, Tyron Smith. And this should be, well, I guess you don't get one in every pack. You get to look four. So Supernatural, Mac Jones. Not bad. Let's go ahead, clean this up a bit. I'm going to bring those back. Sleeve up our inserts. Okay, we'll go up top. Derek Henry. Atwell and Eskridge. Round two picks. Tyron Smith, power player. And the Mac Jones Supernatural. Okay, not bad at all. There we go. Stack of base. Let's go through it one more time, make sure I didn't miss the emerald. It might not be one in every pack. Might be something you guys search for, which I'm all right with. Yep, nope. Nothing there. All right, so that was the first pack. Let's get into the second one. 
All right, all right, and here we go. Season ticket, J.J. Watt, Devontae Parker, Joe Burrow. Okay. Gibson, Carr, McCaffrey, Hill, Judy, White, Harris. How about some Mike Evans? Matthew, Brown, Thielen, Chubb, Cox, Brandon Cooks. All right. So there's our base. I didn't see any emerald in there. Contenders. MVP contender, Kirk Cudson. Oh, hey, we got an emerald. Yeah, it's in our uh, in our inserts. Nice. All right. Playoff ticket, Frank Reich. And a chain mover, Eckler. Nice. All right. So let's get those sleeved up. And Eckler. We got Frank Reich. Playoff ticket. How about the MVP contender, Kirk Cousin. And our Emerald legendary contender, Michael Vick. Very nice. All right. So that's our contenders that we got up at Walmart here in Canada, Vancouver to be specific. We got an Emerald parallel. Not bad. It's time to get to opening day. Yes, it is a Walmart Wednesday. Here we go. Walmart Wednesday, Canada style. Still American sports. I mean, with baseball, you do have the Blue Jays. And then in the minor league, you have the Vancouver Canadians, which is the Blue Jays um, affiliate. We were supposed to go to the game a couple days ago on Sunday, but it was sold out. And hey, Good on Canadians for enjoying ball game. I, I thoroughly approve of that. Totally sold out. Totally digging it. Yeah, it just means that we'll have to hit up Vancouver again on our next, um, our next Northwest trip. We'll have Spokane. We'll have Tacoma, Seattle, and now Vancouver again. So there we go. Nothing wrong with that at all so this box uh, is pretty hefty um 154 cards per we've seen up uh upward uh, my goodness i swear i can speak i haven't had coffee yet so that must be it tops opening day we've seen it we've seen series one so they're very similar i mean they are the same pictures you just get the opening day Listed on the front, little emblem, that one. You get uh, the mascot cards. That's kind of fun. You do have some parallels, some uh, numbered parallels in this. Um, lots of opening day references, like opening day of past years. How did a certain player do on uh, certain opening days? Um, you'll see. We'll, we'll just... What is that? Four packs? We'll take a quick glance. So, Mitch Haniger, Zach Thompson, Home Run Challenge card, Rosie Red. So, there's one of the mascot cards. Okay. Mayhew, Trout. Like I said, you've seen it with um, Series 1. You've seen these pictures. Opening day for the Phillies. Okay. You can see them goofing around a little bit. It's a wrap-up of the 2021 opening day for that team. There you go, Phillies. Okay, Contreras, Calhoun, Arnado. You get your rookie cards. This is something I really liked, the try uh, card. Okay, and this is a good one. Trout, Otani, and Rendon. Nice for the Angels. A little bit of a wrap-up of what they did. Okay, Future Star, and Bomb Squad, Cody Bellinger. So those are some of the inserts that you're going to get. Um, as you saw, one pack didn't have inserts, three did. One gave you the option for the Home Run Challenge. Oh no, they all did. Never mind, I take that back. Oh, 
That's the oversized. The thick sleeve. Um, no, never mind. We did have one in each. We got Rosie Red, the mascot. All right. Bomb Squad. So we might need some more space around here. <laughs> There's the try. We'll put that right there. Opening day. We'll put opening day there. And the mascot. Up there, up top. There we go. Um, you can get relics. You can get dirt, field dirt in a card. If I recall, it comes in a little bag. All right. Yeah, interesting little concept there. Opening day field dirt. Something different. I like it. I like the idea. I've not gotten one. I'm all for raking that streak right now. What are you seeing out there? Okay, Series 2 is around the corner. Are you excited about that? A lot of the top rookies aren't in Series 2. Um, they're saving them for update. How does that make you feel? Does that make it to where you don't want to go out and spend a lot of money on Series 2? Are you going to do just enough to finish your series or your set? Um, or are you going to go all out, thinking there's some sleepers in there? Mrs. Met. Got another uh, mascot. Hey, have you seen the list? Ooh, wow. There's a there's a triple card for you. Acuna Jr., Guerrero Jr., and Tatis Jr. Yes, the juniors. They are in full swing. Um Are you excited about series two? What are you gonna do about it? What about all the others? What is uh Panini coming out with? Um you also got you know Stadium Club coming up. What do you think of Gypsy Queen? We've opened it a couple times here on the channel. Um, the Swingin' Friar got another mascot. San Diego. Very cool. Yeah, Gypsy Queen. Uh, I liked it. I've gotten some good stuff out of it. Um, I haven't got a missing uh, nameplate yet. I, I always like the missing nameplate one. Um, they had some good... Good colors in the parallels. I haven't found any uh, blasters yet of Gypsy Queen. Jim Tomei, Bomb Squad. We got the Swing and Fryer here, mascot. San Diego opening day. Bomb Squad, Acuna Jr. Nice. We got that triple card. June Acuna, Guerrero, and Tatis. Oof. That's nice. That's a nice card, Tops. Good job on thinking of that one. And another mascot. Mrs. Met. Okay. We're only halfway through. Yeah, 154 cards in this box. I mean, that's like a hobby box. Goodness. Not bad. But, I mean, opening day doesn't have exactly the same appeal that Series 1 has, and definitely not the same appeal as Chrome. I mean, they're basically the same card, just a different emblem right on the front. Alan Ginter, has anybody seen the update on Alan Ginter? Has it been pushed back again? Hit me up in the comments section. Uh, let me know if you've seen something out there. I got told by my LCS a few weeks ago there was going to be some supply issues. Like they're running out of paper. Goodness. Um, let me know if you've heard something from your LCS. Or read something on Cardboard Connection. Or heard something on one of these channels. What have you heard? What's going on? 
hit me up in the comment section. And if you'd like, hit that like button. Share, subscribe, and follow Boss Man Sports Cards. Tell your friends and family all about us. Wander, there we go. We got a rookie Wander, nice. Now, someone asked me about what other rookies to worry about or to watch out for. Honestly, I mean, no one else in Series 1 is really popping um, that I'm aware of. All the big rookies are pretty much going to be in the Update Series by the looks of it. Um, yeah, they... they <sighs> They did a pretty good job last year of spreading the rookies out, the quality rookies. This year does not seem to be that uh, that way. I mean, Emmanuel Rivera. Who? Um, I mean, I watch baseball. I, some of these rookies, I'm like, who? And then you got the Bobby Witt Juniors. You got the Julio Rodriguez's. You've got... Um, Who's the kid out in Chicago that's killing it? You got Pena out in Houston. He's um, doing good things at shortstop, making up for Correa leaving. You've got some good rookies out there. <clears throat> you just haven't gotten their rookie cards yet. Tops hasn't put them out. So uh, there's the answer that I can give. I will actually respond uh, to the comment. But that's kind of the, the universal statement that I want to put out there as far as uh, the rookies go, who to look out for. Was not impressed by Series 2's roster. Um, I mean, Joe Ryan out of Minnesota, he's doing well. At least he was the last time I checked. Uh, pitcher. Um, yeah, Wander's hurt. Or at least he was last time I checked. We'll go ahead and put him right there. We are almost through here. We've got another six packs to go. We'll go through them pretty quick. We're not really looking at the base. We're just looking for the inserts. We got a lot of bomb squads. We got a lot of mascots. I'd like at least two more of those tri, uh, the, the three player cards. Those are nice. Especially the athletes that they got on them. Rendon, Trout, and Otani with Acuna Jr., Tatis Jr., and Guerrero Jr. Those are some nice combos. Let's see some more of those. <laughs> so yeah, as I said before, these it's a Walmart Wednesday and we are up in Canada. I got these from a Canadian Walmart. I don't think there's really a difference. I mean I'm I'm not seeing any, you know, maple leaves or anything of that sort so i think it's just distributed just like the others uh through walmart from tops or panini um we do have something shiny here a blue shiny so i think that's an opening day marked i don't think it's a serial number i think it's just marked with the opening day date Tatis Jr., Bieber, Kyle Lewis, March 31st, 2022. It is not serial numbered, but it is listed right there. We got Slugger, mascot from the Royals. What else? Jordan, Lars Newtbar. I mean, Newtbar is, you know, everybody likes his name, but I haven't really seen much out of him. So, as for asking what rookies, yeah, Bomb Squad, Frank Thomas, he was a, a beast of a rookie back with Chicago, back in the early 90s. Okay, Luke Williams, Jake Cousins, I I mean, Cousins, I think, has done, I think he's what, three and five? Nah, I, the rookies are not... Uh, not as desirable this year. I was expecting that. We got another try. It's Bellinger, Betts, and Kershaw. The Dodgers. Nice. Eli Morgan. I. I Kate. Tyler McGill. No. 
the rookies, I don't know. Literally, don't know. <laughs> All right, let's sleeve these last few up. We've got another try. The Dodgers, nice. Triple player card. That's what these are called. I like them. There you go. Opening day, Chicago. The Cubs. Cubbies. We got some more mascots. Wally the Green Monster. I mean, this is pretty stacked as far as inserts go. Not bad. Bomb Squad. Okay, Frank Thomas. We'll start another row. Got another mascot. Mascot. That's really what they put on the front for uh, the Blue Jays mascot? Okay. <laughs> oh, that's funny. And then you got Slugger for the Royals. So there's our mascots. We got about a third of the league here. Ten of them. And we got our Royal Blue opening day date cards. K Breweries. And Kyle Lewis. I'm hoping Lewis comes back and does some strong stuff. All right. So what do you think? A Walmart Wednesday from Canada. That's kind of cool, I think. Uh, something different. Um, for a California kid, at least. And uh, a loaded opening day blaster. Along with some, some contenders. Some football of 2021. Not bad. I have fun with it. Uh, the conversion rate definitely helped at that Walmart. I'm going to show you some video of the other Walmart. I was like, what? At those prices. In the meantime, Boss Man here. Boss Man Sports Cards. Boss Man out.